Hey guys, Tim Martini with Exploring the Obscure. I'm just outside of Burks Falls, Ontario, about three hours north of Toronto, up in what people here call cottage country. Today we're going to explore this, you can call it whatever you want to interpret it as, but it goes by Screaming Heads, the Midlothian Castle, or Midlothian Ridge. It's a, it's a house castle that one man has spent 25 years building with his bare hands. That's pretty interesting. He's going to show us around uh, the house, he's going to show us around the land, and we're going to have some fun. Let's go check it out. Shaped like a sphinx from the air, this is Screaming Heads. It's a house, it's a castle, it's concrete smiley faces, it's one man's vision and a whole world beyond what any of us can imagine. It's this man's legacy for future generations. Now we happen to be just wandering around the grounds here and the outside of the house checking it out and with the same perfect timing as we've had in plenty of other locations around the world, we just happen to run into the owner and creator of this. This is Peter Carmani who spent about 25 years building this, right? And, and where did you, what made you want to start from turning this farm farmhouse into your own castle? I, a bay window was falling off the front of the house and started repairing it, never stopped. Never stopped? Never stopped. Can we go take a look? Uh, the bay window was falling off, so I decided to make the front entrance here instead of replacing the whole bay window. And so that was another thing that attracted uh, people to this uh, castle. A retired art teacher, Carmani didn't stop his love of making things when he left the job, whether it's a metal knight, concrete creations, or his own unique style of paintings. Everybody, I'm Marcus. If you don't know me, I'm a so called artist. I might not be the smartest, but I'm prettier than advertised. Just don't look at my teeth or my big nose, but come on, I'm still prettier than these hoes. I don't sound like Chad Kruger, but I'm this close. Listen, this is how you remind me of what I really am. A drunk musician without any kind of plan. And the nerd when it comes to Batman, I you with my permission to cry. Paint is relatively fresh. Yeah, uh, they actually do move in the flames because there's so many of them. Your eye, it looks like they're they're moving. And that's what I got. Well, that's the chimney for the fireplace. That's awesome. Now let's step outside the self-made castle and find out where the Screaming Heads name came from. Sprawling across his 300 acres of land are over 80 of these concrete heads, faces, people, whatever you want to call them, 16 feet high and weighing up to eight tons. Carmani wanted to use his rolling hills and make it look like these people were drowning in the ocean. Creepy? Yes. But hey, buy your own land, do your own thing. Anyways, a unique feature that Peter's left on some of these sculptures will one day be an opening to our lives. He's inscripted our alphabet, our numbers, and our units of measurements at the bottom of some of these creations so that future generations and life forms can have a peek into what our time on Earth as humans was like. Out of all his creations, there is one that is more unique than the rest. As you see here, it's a tree. And here, it's a screaming head. And now, it's the heart of the forest. I'm Tim Martini with Exploring the Obscure, here with Peter Carmani, the founder and creator. Check us out on exploringtheobscure.com or Facebook, YouTube, both under Exploring the Obscure. And follow all of my weird, wacky adventures on Instagram and Twitter, at Timmy Martini. So until next time, keep your bags packed. Let's go exploring. Always broke like a Greek, no blood when I bleed. I know I'm not that fast, but I promise to give him my best, cause I am something special. At least that's what mom said Whoa. Flying in the arena I'm like a dictator Flying in the arena